So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the new cluster track auto splitter and how to use it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's pretty much plug and play. You just activate it and then you could basically start running right from there. Um, the main advantages of this auto splitter, uh, the, this new one, is that you don't need to patch the game at all. It just works basically. Uh, you just click uh, one button. Um, maybe change the settings around depending on what you're doing and it doesn't need to download anything doesn't care about screen resolution you can change the settings while in cluster truck so you don't have to restart it and take a bunch of time doing that uh, it also doesn't matter when you start up live split either so you can start it in the middle of having the game started if you were just randomly practicing and want to get some times in um, you also don't need to repatch re the game to change any of the settings Plus, you can also suggest any changes that you might have through the GitHub, or if you have the coding knowledge to do so, make the changes yourself, um, which is kind of complicated and a separate topic of this, which I might make another video for, but uh, in this video, I'm not going to be covering that. So let's get started with how to actually get your game prepared to take the new splitter. So the current splitters have all been patching the game, changing the game files somehow. So we need to remove that first because this splitter uses just live splits um built in system. So it doesn't require a patch or anything, but with the patch being there it will mess with live split splitting. And I know um some or well, I think all of the the auto splitters that are patched have an uninstall button or uninstall exe but i know from a few people on the discord that doesn't work sometimes so to fix that uh and, and even if you haven't even tried that you could just do this and it'll work so just go to local files uh, and click on verify integrity of game files and this will just remove all of the patching and all of that this will not wipe your progress however so you don't have to worry about your progress going away um, it just removes, it basically fixes any of the files that have been changed through the patch. So after we've done that, that's all you have to do in Steam. Um, that, that's it. So open up Live Split now and go to Edit Splits. And give it a second. And you're going to go in here and you first of all need to make sure your game is set to cluster truck. Uh, run category doesn't matter. You can set it to any of them. Um, I currently have mine on no ability, but that's just because what I like to run. Uh, if you go, so you're going to go down here and you should see this pop up. Open source artist waiting by level as well as by location. So you're going to click on activate. And that's all you have to do if you just want to run the full game. That's it. So now you can just start up Cluster Truck and start running. Now, if you want to practice a specific world like forest or winter, uh, you want to go into settings and turn on individual worlds. This will uh, change a bit of the functionality so it only cares about. Uh, 10 splits being there or 9 um, so you don't have to worry about it kind of moving around and this may be changed in the future so keep in mind this video might be outdated so always check uh, the github which is easily accessible right from here and that leads you right to the github now this has all the information you're going to need for what everything does um, and this is also where you can suggest issues uh, or changes, enhancements, and uh, also make changes if you have any, uh, if you have the ability to do so. So that's where the GitHub is. This will also be in the description. Um, lastly, I, I just want to bring up that uh, what reset does as well. This basically reset if you go to level select and go to the previous level it will reset your 
any previous levels. It'll uh, reset your timer automatically. If you go ahead, it will not. And if you stay on the same level, you'll be fine. So this allows uh, any percent runners to change their abilities without it being interfered with. But also if you're practicing a run and you want to reset your time because it's not going so well, you could just go all the way back to the first level and it'll automatically reset everything for you. So it's pretty useful if you're doing something like that. Um, full game, obvious, it's the uh, full game setup. So it'll split every single level going from one to one to the final boss uh, and individual worlds I already went over that but that's basically just if you want to run uh, like forest or whatever and dev mode is not really important it enables print stuff but it can also make the program run a bit slower so it's not very uh, encouraged to use that unless any of the devs tell you to use it so and then these other two you want to keep on all the time um, start automatically starts the auto splitter and split of course automatically splits so uh, and that's it so I hope you guys enjoy this new auto splitter um, it's actually taken a while I had all the splitting stuff for the levels done uh, like three four months ago from the posting of this video but it's taken me a while to get the boss stuff to work a lot of this is searching around for addresses and stuff, which I'll probably cover in another video if anyone's looking to make any similar auto splitters or even uh, contribute to the splitter if you want to add something or if a new category is added or whatever. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope the splitter is very helpful to the community. I know I um, haven't actually really speedrun this game at all. Uh, I came here intending to do that and then this kind of happened. So, yeah.